What is one true global language? It knows no nation, favors no race, and acknowledges no class. That's why it's always a pleasure to show you what creative minds have been up to on the program. Welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Akinami. A quick look at our arty quotes, then you will know what we have on our lineup for you today. Art opens the closets, airs out the cellars and attics, and it brings healing. Making art is like giving a gift, evidence of your spirit and that you are here. Over 20 experimental high-relief paintings by George Igudalu is exhibited at the DD Museum in Lagos. Works of art that show what the graduate of the Yaba College of Technology Lagos has been working on during his break from the art scene. I wanted to arouse the minds of uh, people who are not too uh, keen on the arts, as well as those who are keen on the arts, who would understand the language. Perhaps that's why he christened the exhibition Pungent Punctuations, the strong ideas he was toying with while he was hibernating. He's been part of other group exhibitions, but by standing alone, he is able to reveal these artistic pangs and sensibilities in his works, where he has explored several techniques and put them together to create a conversation on canvas. Metal foil is one material George uses to add texture to his surfaces. One of them is titled The Mirage. Other works include I Saw Bling Bling, a portrait of a lady in a high corrugated and pastel mixed media with gold foil for blushes and marbles for the eyes in a dominant orange background. And then there's Face of a Drummer, Friends and Admirers, Slumber, Intimate Whispers, among others. In this piece, I took what I played with on um an eye for bling bling a step further. I wanted to create high, tensive, corrugated movements that basically when you, if you were to step into the room where the piece is and you walk past it, very close, you walk past it, you just see a whole mass of uh, colors and movements. You cannot make any detail out. Before he graced the walls of the university, I Judge had already been a lover of the artworks by masters such as Yusuf Grillo, Dele Jagade, and Kolade Oshinowo, who had always intrigued him. He tells the line of art historian Professor Ola Oloidi and admits that other artists featured have influenced him greatly in his artistic journey. Each artist exhibited is not begging for any professional clearance. He has already made an impact by daring to break barriers. This month in art history. It's Black History Month, an annual celebration in honor of Africans in diaspora. British novelist Charles Dickens was born in Portsmouth, England. Edward Adamson, art therapist and collector, dies at 84. Jamaican singer and songwriter Bob Marley was born. We're taking a break now, but before that, put your thinking caps on and try to figure out who our artist for this week is. Guaranteed 
Trust Bank. Proudly African. Truly international. He's a Nigerian dramatist, actor, director, and playwright. He developed Yoruba culture, especially folk opera, that's drama that combines Christian themes with traditional Yoruba folklore, music and dancing, and music popular in urban culture into a serious theater form through his work with Ogumola Traveling Theater, founded in 1947. 